Welcome to the Pattern Studio Challenge. And in this challenge, the idea is to make some creative, fun pattern using the pen tool. I have a couple of examples here, starting from easier to very challenging. Or you can go somewhere in between and be creative and be yourself. So here's some ideas. I'm going to go full screen. Would you click on that? My first one here is I hit A, bounces around the screen, drawing a line. That's cool, pretty, it's nice. It's the basic one. Stop that. The next one, I call it the donut. And what it does is it makes almost a square, but not quite. And because it's slightly off the angle for the square, it makes this pretty cool pattern. If I keep it going all the way, it will create a donut. That's why I call it a donut. All right, I'm going to clear that. Next one is very similar donut, but it changes color and it makes a different shape. It's not quite a square. It's the same code. I just changed the angle slightly different to make this sort of different type of cool shape. I like that one. Then things get a little more complicated. So this next one is the donut again, but once I start it, it will spawn a hundred of these donuts. So there's one. And every two seconds, a new cat will appear on the screen and start creating a donut. This is using something called the clone block, which is a little more advanced, but it's pretty cool. You can see they'll slowly start to take over the screen. It's just fun watching the sort of cats go around as well. I'm going to stop that one. Reset, clear the screen. And this last one is very different. What it is, is the cat follows the mouse. And when I click down, it draws. And you may be saying, what are these two colors up here? Well, if I click on the red, it draws red. If I click on the purple. So it's a really simple drawing program that I created. So those are some ideas I have for you. So now that you know your challenge, if you feel you can make your own pattern, jump into Scratch and go for it. If you want a few hints, stay on and I'll give you a few hints. OK, as you can see, I've opened a new project. And to make any pattern, you need the pen blocks. To get to the pen blocks, if they're not listed here on the side, you click on this blue button with the little plus. And there's all sorts of extra blocks you can get here, but we're going to focus on the pen. I'm going to add the pen. Notice pen comes up here, and there are these new blocks here. There are three main ones you'll use are pen down, pen up, and erase all. So let me explain what each one does. The first one is pen down. And if you put pen down, it basically means there's an invisible pen on the cat that goes down. So now that when it moves, it leaves a mark. So I am going to put a move 10 steps here and a forever so you can see. All right, here it is. If I go, there's no mark, right? Now, if I click pen down, notice it's not even attached. If I just click it, it means the pen should be down. And now if I go, it leaves a mark wherever I go. Now, the other block, erase all, if I click on that, erases everything that's been down. And pen up does the opposite of down. So if I remember, I still have pen down. I haven't changed the state. Pen is still down. When I move, it goes. Now, if I move it back, click pen up and go, the pen is up. So that's how pen up and pen down work. It's a little different because once you trigger pen down, it stays down until you trigger pen up. It's called a state. I'm going to erase all. So let's say I want to do this in the code. I would Put this pen down here. I could 
instead of forever, I'm going to do a repeat. I'm going to repeat 10, move 10 steps. So my pen will be down. I move 10 steps over and over 10 times, so 100 times. Then I'm going to put my pen up, right click on it, and say duplicate. I'm going to do the same thing. And then I'm going to repeat this all forever. Erase all, start it here. Instead of repeat 10, I'm going to say five, so you can see what actually happens. What's your prediction? You got it. I made a dotted line. So those are some hints for you to get the idea of pen up and pen down. Remember, you can make your own ideas, own pattern, have fun with this. All right, good luck and keep on scratching.